Hello, welcome back to Engineering Song. Today, video tutorial is related to the Auto Lisp command for the AutoCAD. So, by the help of this Lisp, you can easily calculate any kind of shape, areas, irregular, or rectangle, square, or circle. Any kind of shape you can calculate very easily, and at the end, you can just make all the areas together by the help of some formula. Let me explain in this video tutorial. Okay so you can download the list command from the description i will provide the link in the description don't forget to press like share and subscribe for more such informative videos let's start the video first of all we need to create some layers for easy understanding i don't want to create i created already if you want to create you can just go to the layer option from here you can just easily select and you can create any kind of layers i already created four or five layers let me zoom of circle we will draw a circle irregular and rectang uh, rectangle square and text okay first of all i'm going to draw a circle here okay this is our circle and next i'm going to select another layer irregular shape i am going to select polyline pl and i'm going to draw a any kind of shape like this way okay here and you can just select it here this is irregular shape enter and next i'm going to draw a rectangle let me select our rectangle from here or you can just enter from your keyboard rec this is our rectangle and next i'm going to select a square come up square you can just make it square okay let's click it here like this way square and we have four shapes so now we will going to calculate the areas but if you want to make the line weight little bit uh, more to visible it's like you can just select the all shape and go to here the line from here you can select 0 0.30 if it's not showing so you can just go to this option here and you can turn on from here if it's not here you can let's go to line weight and you can turn on it from here easily okay let me upload the application enter ap from your keyboard or let's go to, or you can just easily go to the manage option here okay manage and from the manage you can select the upload application click here and upload the application from here and if you want to see the command in the inside the list command you just right click go to open from open you can just um, check it the command here okay let's zoom in here this is the command you can see a to f okay and let's close it and successfully load it enter a to f okay this is the command let me again zoom okay a to f enter select the shape enter and select area where you want to draw the area okay so this is the area it's uh, okay so change the scale from here and next again enter a to f and select this shape and enter select area let's scale it again from here sc and enter it so it will be visible then again right click go to the repeat from repeat you can select a to f and select the shape enter select the region where you want to show and select scale it uh, you can just make it ma match command this one and you can match it easily here like this one so a to f enter select shape enter and select area you can just use match command ma and you can match it easily if you want to remove this you should explode it explode and explode and explode and explode so you can just select the alt text because we want to uh, select it select similar and uh, move it to the text comma text uh, layer from here easily okay so now it's to the text layer if you click here it will show you irregular if you click here it will show rectangle if you click on the text it will show you if you click here on text only it will show this one uh, text okay so now next what we should to do we will calculate this all area together oh, enter again the same command a to f 
select ship one second third and fourth and enter and select origin where you want to display and you can uh, just scale it okay let's see and let me enter here and enter trello so it will show you like this way explode this is your total area and move it to the text layer it will go to this area so this is the total area and it's uh, independent and separate separate area for each shape and this is the total area you can download the list from the description don't forget to press like share and subscribe button you will see in the next tutorial goodbye and take care